Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. I'm running late and I'm so sorry, it has been a day. Um, if you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay so I know you were here. I always love to see who, who I, checks me out later, you know, and uh, let y'all know I appreciate that. And I'm gonna get everything going down here so I can see when my friends get here. If you, uh, if you hop on, be sure to say hi. So I know you're here. I see some people here. Hey, Penny. Hey. Oh, thanks, Trish. It was a struggle today. Hey, Cindy. Sweet Cindy. Hey, Teresa. Okay, let me get up over here where I can really see I'm just right in y'all's face because I'm going to paint today. So I have to set up differently. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Sandra and Judy and Carol and Brandy. Hey, y'all. Hey, Rebecca. Sarah's here and Jody. Finally, I'm so sorry I was late, Jody. Hey, Geneva, thanks for sprinkling. Judy, thank you for the stars. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Darlene. I, Rebecca, I'm at, <laughs> well, it's, it hasn't slowed down, y'all. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rita. Let me, um, let me put that link in there for y'all and then I'll tell you about the day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Audrey. Uh, I'm glad y'all like my shirt. Hey, Kim. Guess who it's from? Belle Lily. Got to get y'all's link in here. There we go. And I'm going to pin it for you in case anybody needs that discount code. I'm so glad you like it, Cindy. Thank you. I'm sorry I made you panic. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I need to learn. This There's a whole learning curve with taking my mama grocery shopping. I'm, a, I'm just gonna have a sip of coffee and chat with my friends for a minute while I bring my heart rate down. <laughs> Guess I've been running. <laughs> oh, I did not really anticipate. It was gonna take three hours at the grocery store. Y'all, bless her. I love her with every inch of my heart, but that was a lot, so I can't do it on my live days anymore. Hey, Luann. Hey, Terry. I'm so glad y'all like this shirt. This is, I've never worn this one before. This is one of uh, my new ones for the new year. Look at that bow on that cow's head. I mean, I can't res couldn't resist it. Hey, Nana, thank you so much for those stars. You're so sweet. So, yeah, right, Penny? And so then, you know, you got to wait in the line for 30 minutes. It was insane. And then you've got, I had to bag. There weren't any baggers today. So I bagged up her groceries. Kim, thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. Uh, so, um, yeah, then we got it to the car. Then I uh, had to unload it. And kind of, I was helping her put the refrigerator stuff up just to get her in a, you know, get her unpacked there, but woo, I had not eaten all day. Mm, thank you, Dana, for the stars. So that's my story for the day. I've been grocery shopping with my mama. <laughs> no baggers, no, barely any cash cashiers. Um, that poor little boy that was cash, uh, uh, working the cash register was working so hard but let me tell you the good news as i'm opening up a, a dollar tree five by seven canvas uh oh beverly i've got you a, um, a discount code it's from bell lily um and i just i love them uh, yeah, that's about all y'all see me in anymore i just love them and they give my viewers a discount code so i have a link um pinned in the comments for you uh oh you told the last day of school before um christmas i bet that's yeah that was fun wasn't it oh uh, i'm happy to see you too grace I, i'm so glad y'all love it i just really love this and if you've known me for very long, I, I started, the way I started out tater bugging was I painted funny animals. And um, I love to paint cows and pigs. And so, it fits. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie, for the stars. Y'all are so sweet. 
Mr. Taterbuggin went for his nuclear stress test this morning. It did a number on him, let me tell you. But he, yes, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Everything perfectly clear. It's ruled out any heart issues whatsoever. No blockages, healthy as a horse. Y'all prayed us right through that nightmare. So thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Merry Christmas to you too, Becky. I don't know if this is going to work today. I really, here's what I thought. I thought, well, you know, get up when my mom's ready. I'll run her to the grocery store. I'll come on back, get myself together, and I'm going to kind of know what I'm going to paint. Well, I know what I'm going to paint or try to paint. But I like to think it through. I like to pull the colors. I like to do all that. Hey, Wendy. Um, welcome, Tracy. Your first time watching. Oh, I'm not. Well, am I usually this scattered, y'all? I'll let y'all tell Tracy. <laughs> because today I'm a little bit more scattered. So please don't judge me on today. Um, I am going to paint for you, though, which always relaxes me, and we'll figure it out together. We'll work it out. Um, but I, I literally just ran in here and I grabbed the cup of coffee. That's what made me a few minutes late, so I'm sorry. But y'all, just welcome Tracy here. I'm just so happy you're here. Um, so, I had an idea yesterday of what I wanted to do uh, for today. Well, Yesterday morning, I got a text. See, I was slipping into low gear. I think I told y'all Sunday, after mine and Trisha's live um, Sunday, gonna kind of slip in low gear for the next couple of weeks. We're gonna do our lives. We're just gonna hang out, be so chill. I haven't chilled out <laughs> once. I got a text yesterday morning from the local gift shop that orders my hand painted wine 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 glasses, and they they needed more yesterday. Or today and uh, they have to cure so I knew it would be today thank you Pam for the stars you're so sweet so yesterday I had to paint a dozen wine glasses and get them cured so it was into the wee hours before that happened last night he mr. tater Buggin was sound asleep for the longest time I turned on the family stone on my TV out here and just painted but while I was painting, I was also thinking about what to do today. And I was kept thinking about a fun New Year's painting. You don't hear much about New Year's paintings. We do Christmas paintings. We do Valentine's paintings. We you know, hit those. We paint animals, all that kind of stuff. And so I was thinking how fun it might be if I painted a... Um, yes, yes, y'all. It's a good report. Thank you, Lindy. So I looked around for inspiration and then decided on some type of hourglass. Well, I didn't want to have to just sit down and um, try to pencil out. I, I'm not the, I, I, I can paint, but drawing is not my strong suit. I'm pushing myself to learn, but I didn't want to have to put y'all through the whole sketching and erasing and sketching and erasing. So, let me give you a tip. You get an idea of something that you want to paint. I needed to look at an hourglass, but I needed a little extra help because this is just going to be a little shelf sitter piece. You put it out between Christmas and New Year's, maybe a week after New Year's, and then it goes tucked away again. So, you don't have to, you know, this is a simple little thing. Hey, Judy. Um, so I went on Google and I just Googled hourglass templates. So, you know, if you've taken any of my more intricate paint classes, and for those of you who are new, I do monthly paint classes. It's not a subscription. You pick and choose the ones you want to do and they're always available. You can still go back and look at my art classes and still sign up for any of them. And the ones that I have for those, I'll draw them out. I'll design them, I'll draw them out, and then I will make it a file and give you that template to do what I'm about to do here. But there's no need for that. It's a one-time thing. Uh, if you want to do this, um, 
If you want to do, thank you, Jolene. If you want to do a painting similar to this, just Google um, out Hourglass and pick out the, there were a zillion and you pick out the one you like. So I, I went kind of middle of the road, not simple, simple, but not really ornate. So all I'm going to do, of course, you're going to want to print it out the size of whatever canvas you use. This is my sad, sad piece of graphite paper. There are other ways that you can transfer. Um, you can take a pencil. If you want to take the time to cover the back of this um, with, with the graphite from a pencil and then lay it down on your um, canvas and trace it, that graphite will transfer to your canvas. Or you can simply go get you a package of graphite paper, uh, tracing paper, whatever you want to call it at Hobby Lobby. Um, and you can get a whole pack. Betty, did I see you just got home? Can you give us a, a report? Is that okay? Hi, Kathy. So while uh, I'm gonna, let's do this. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go on and tilt y'all down. This is how I do when I want you to uh, be able to see exactly my point of view. I'm gonna flip the camera upside down and then bring y'all right over here so you can watch what I'm doing. You're gonna get, um, let me move that. You're gonna get this, whatever it is you wanna transfer, right in the middle of your canvas. And what I'll do, so it doesn't move, is grab a little piece of painter's tape. Oh, is Dolly here? Hey, Dolly. Hey, Linda. Nelda's here. Oh, how are y'all doing? Let's see. Got more antibiotics. Oh, oh goodness, Betty. I know you are exhausted, y'all. We gotta pray for our sweet Betty. Um, she's dealing with that awful thing I can't say right now that's been going around. Okay, and so now I'm going to put my graphite paper underneath here. And just take this pen, and we're going to just trace it. And uh, we're going to chat while I just trace the outline of this hourglass. Yeah, everybody's... Um, praying for Betty. Yes, please go rest, Betty. Go get you some rest. You have to be exhausted. You don't need to be here. We got this. We'll miss you, of course, but we got this. We need you well. So I got, um, while, I'm, while I'm tracing, I'll just chit-chat. I got some of the sweetest Christmas cards from uh, Sweet Tater Bugs yesterday. I want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all. And um, I, they came, I was, they came in yesterday. Well, it was last night, and I was down to the wire. I didn't get to open them until this morning. So I haven't had a chance to get notes out to you to let you know what that, how I much I appreciate that. But I want you to know that if you're on here, I got. Um, I had a friend um, when she went to Seattle, you know, that's where the first, uh, very first original Starbucks is. She doesn't even drink coffee. She stood in line. Apparently, that one is crazy busy. Stood in line just to get me a Starbucks mug that had, you know, was from Pike Place. Well, yesterday in the mail, I got a package from two of our sweet tater bugs. Um, Bev Brewer and Darla Van had come through Memphis this past summer and met me over at Southern Vintage. So I got to give them a hug. I got to see them in person. And those two sweet ladies from Oklahoma sent me the Oklahoma, I'm not going to tilt it. I'll show it to you later, but it's the Oklahoma um, 
Starbucks mug, I got to thinking, oh, it would be so easy to want to start a collection as if I need more coffee mugs. Mr. Tater Buggin might kill me. But how cool would it be to get a mug from every state? But, um, yeah, I don't, ex I, I, that came out wrong. You know, I'm not saying, oh, y'all send me a mug. <laughs> but if it's something that you might be able to do, let me send you some money. And I think it would be so fun to get a mug from every state that my sweet tater bugs live in. And they started something in my head, didn't they? And Cindy, should I tell them about what you did? I... I didn't ask Cindy if I could say anything about it. Maybe I better not, because she and I have talked about it. But she started me another collection that, that she knows I'm interested in. So, I don't need to collect anything, y'all, but it sure is fun. <laughs> oh, that almost, that almost worked. But it's good enough. I mean, you just need to, um, you know... Let me move it up so you can kind of see. It's very, very light because this pitiful piece of graphite paper. Hey, Lori. Um, hey, Brenda. Is so old, and I've used it so many times that uh, it's saying, you know, really get a new piece, Lindy. Where's my little? Now, now we're gonna do some painting. Uh, if I can find my little. Let me just. These little Dollar Tree um, canvases are, they're fun, of course, for these little um, paintings, but you can kind of see the the frame through it because it's kind of flimsy. Okay, now, how to execute this. I think I'm going to use some browns for my hourglass. The, Oops, the wood part. I'm sorry, I needed a sip of that coffee. Mm, let me get my... Oh, I want to tell y'all this that I learned yesterday. If you go to my Amazon uh, link on our links at the top of our page, pinned to the top of our page. Hey, Laurie. Uh, you'll see my... My favorite lettering brushes, the AIEX brand, but you'll also see, um, Heidi, that's a brilliant idea. I could. Oh, I love that. Hey, Sherry, you'll see these Montmartre um, detail brushes. Amanda from Amanda Made uses these, and so she's the one that made me get them. <laughs> yes, they're so, she liked them so much. But I just finally opened them yesterday when I was painting my wine glasses. They are almost identical. Let me show you. This is the AIEX brand that's on my Amazon page that I use for lettering. And um, look, the, the handles are even shaped alike. So far, I've only used the flat because I was painting buildings, but um, I'm going to try the other brushes for lettering and see if, you know, I'll let you know if they work just as good for lettering. You know, that's a great, that's a, another great um, set of brushes to, to have, and they're not expensive at all. Do you have them too, Michelle? Yeah, Michelle, I I haven't gotten, let me tell all of y'all, but I, Michelle made me remember. I have yet to have time to go back and um, answer or, or get back with all of your sweet messages on my business page. I apologize. I didn't factor in that I would get that call yesterday to, uh, to get those uh, wine glasses done, but they're done now, and so it, I owe y'all. And it may be tomorrow because we're supposed, I found out earlier, we're supposed to meet uh, Jody and Julie for dinner tonight, Gerald's brother and his wife. Um, so, I'm just going to keep on going. <laughs> keep on going. I'm just taking a couple of browns. Y'all that have taken my classes know how I do. A lot of times I like to take 
if I decide I'm going to do a certain piece in brown, I'm going to take a dark and a light, and I'm just going to play with those two colors in that same family and see how it works. If it looks terrible, I just change it. So, I don't know how this is going to do. Um... <laughs> Send them to uh, to Mr. T what now? What are y'all talking about? I got to look up more. Okay. We're going to see how this goes. And if it'll look, if I can make it kind of look wood grain. I'm going to try not to get too, too detailed with this today and take up all y'all's time. But I, I just want to give you this little concept for what you might find is a fun uh, little New Year's painting that you could give to somebody or have to put out in your decor right after Christmas. Well, now I'm just going to dip into this little bit lighter color. What did I pull? I pulled a khaki tan to go with bittersweet chocolate. And again, we may be switching browns. And I have, y'all, I have my contacts in. Bear with me one second. Let me grab my glasses because I can't see this detail work. something on a normal day I would have already thought of is having them where I could just slip them on. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, and I think, let's see, let me grab some of the darker color. That goes on here. That's an odd color. Let me look what I've got over here. Let's try adding a little traditional burnt umber see what that looks like with it uh yeah they're they're really they're really smooth brushes um i am loving them so far and they're they're just like that aiex so far i can't i'm not able to tell a difference in the flat ones i just haven't used the um detailed brushes to letter with yet from this so I don't you know I'll let you know how that goes all right let's just I don't know I'm just playing y'all we'll see how this works out hopefully it'll work out like I said I don't want to get too Max Tate I'm so glad I'll is he on here He's, he's getting his hair cut right now. He ha He's had a day, I'll tell you. That, that um, nuclear stress test is nothing to sneeze at. All right, I'm going to put some white down. Both of those sets that you'll find on my Amazon link are so good. And like I said, the AIEX, those are my favorite lettering brushes. So I can absolutely vouch for those. And as soon as I have another lettering project, I'm going to try, um, try this brand and their lettering brushes and see how they do. You could even do this on, if you have like a mixed media sketch pad or, or you know, you could paint this on a, uh, just on a piece of paper and then stick it in a Dollar Tree frame and bring it out once a year. Well, you know what? If I do what I'm planning to do, you're really only going to put it out one year. I'll show you. Hey, Lee. There's Lee from the Turquoise Valentine. How you doing, my friend? She's going to be here. Y'all saw my post. Tell me what you think about our party plan for January 2nd. 
Trish and Lee and uh, Moido and uh, Elizabeth are going to be here. And we're just all going to sit around and chat with y'all about the coming new year and laugh and talk and have a get to know each other session. And I think it's going to be so much fun. Oh, you're having that. I didn't see who's having that same stress test. Well, it, let me tell you, I say it's, He's fine. Don't get me wrong. It was just different than anything he's ever done before. It wasn't, uh, it was a nuclear stress test. So they just, um, were putting the, whatever it is they put in you to sit, simulate, um, to simulate running, uh, you know, stress in your heart. And he said that was the weirdest sensation to some, you know, you're just sitting still and they give you that injection and, um, you know, you you suddenly feel like you've run a mile. And, uh, yeah, I used to do cardiology uh, reports as an MT. And I remember doing the, you know, typing up the reports for those. And how I thought that was so cool that they could do that, you know, just chemically. And not put you through having to actually run a mile. But he just said it did give him a headache, but that's it. So you're seeing, you can see the, the uh, hourglass kind of starting to come out here, right? I know it was hard to see the tracing I did there. I think we all are getting really excited about new things that we plan to do in the coming new year on our pages for y'all. Uh, Trish and I got to talk about that a lot this weekend. Um, I know Moidel's excited about things she's got planned for y'all. Lee does too. I, I haven't gotten to talk to Lee as much, but I know, you know, she's got some wonderful new ideas up her sleeve and, uh, we're also, it's fun to, to sit down and just chat with y'all and, um, hear what y'all would like to see happen too. It's great to get that feedback. All right. Like I said, I'm just trying to do this as simple as I, I tend to, when I paint, I have to catch myself cause I'll tend to get too detailed. I, I, I need to learn to paint looser and not worry about it. You know, just get the point across. <laughs> and so I don't want to do that today, obviously. We're just doing something simple. All right. Now, let's see. I want to take, you know what? I'll try, let me get out these brushes and let me try one of the liner brushes um, see, they're all still, they come in that tube and this pretty little velvet bag. They're all individually wrapped. Oh, really, to shake your leg. Yeah, the scan part, he, that was no problem. So, let me look at all of these amazing brushes. Uh, let me pull this one and this one. And let's just see how we want to do this next fun part. I'm ready to get to the fun part now. Open this up. Hi, Grace. Yes, this is an hourglass. It's a, we're going to do a um, ringing out the old and bringing in the new uh, for New Year's with this painting. A little bit of black. What look like they'd be fun to try. Oh, the paintbrushes? Yes. I love these. I should have, I can't believe I haven't tried them yet. I've had them for a long time now. All right. I'm going to just do some lines here. We're just going to outline the hourglass.
Cindy, it's you that's having one done? Please, don't, yeah, don't worry about it. It's it's not that bad. Not I mean, it's a, like three injections. Maybe I haven't done, but I failed the regular test. It was going off one of my... Oh, well, um, I've had the regular stress test. And actually, I think Gerald disliked that just as much because you know they've got to push your heart to get it to that to a certain heart rate and so he just got to sit still boom it you know worked and they could take the pictures and he was done but i want you to get a good report <laughs> Heidi, that's a good idea too yeah they could hold all my paint brushes y'all i got the paint brushes I mean, I've got paint brushes. I've been painting for seven years already. And, um, you know, I didn't, how long have I had the tater bugging page? Probably about that. Yeah, I guess I've had it that long. And, uh, but I didn't start doing lives until um, 2020. Okay, there's our little hourglass. There we go. Now, this is the part I got to decide how to make it look. So, um, let's play with the sand. So, I want to start out with my sand being, um, do I want to start top or bottom? I'm going to start top with a little brown. Uh, let's go right in here. This is where you're just, this part you're just dealing with trying to make it, make that illusion. When I taught the class, um, was patriotic floral class last, oh, was it May, y'all? I can't remember now. Um, I showed you how to paint a clear mason jar. Now, this is, hey, Loretta, uh, caramel from Anita's. Yeah, not bad at all. That's what I would think, Cheryl, from what he said. You know, you just sit there, and it's just an odd sensation. doesn't hurt or anything he said at all, but you just, you've never felt it before, and then it's over. Also, you can't have caffeine, so I'm sure part of his headache was from, you know, he hadn't had any caffeine. Okay, I'm dipping into this goldish color here. I didn't even rinse my brush. I want to make this kind of look like sand, of course. And blend it in. And I want to go, let's see. Let's see what. A little bit lighter. Let's go one shade up with like Turner's yellow. That's the first time pulling here. Let's see how this is going to look. Laura, he is great. All testing showed that um, he, it's not his heart. His heart is just as good as it can be. And we are so thankful and we appreciate all y'all's prayers. Um, he's all clear now. The doctor was fully prepared to send him straight over to the hospital if he needed to. We did not know that part, thank goodness. Um, but no need. He's all good. Because Gerald was asking him, you know, when, how long before I know the, get the results back? And he said, oh, I'm going to tell you whether you got to go straight to the hospital or not here as soon as we're, uh, we're done. So... He's all good. Thank you for asking. Okay, am I kind of making it look like sand, y'all? Hey, Tammy. Uh, let's see. Now, we're going to take this lighter gold here. And let's start pouring that sand down here. Go 
down way to the bottom where it's thicker and do brown. And then we're gonna do deeper gold. Back into the brown. Oh, listen, Regina, I appreciate that. I, I, that was a that was a big old scare. I gotta tell you that one that one scared me. And y'all just jumped right in and started praying. And oh my goodness, I can't ever thank y'all enough for that. Okay, now let me. I'm thinking through. About to have to get my. Get my thinking cap on here. How do I want to mix a little white here? Now, I love it, Dolly. I love it. Now, let me tell you this. I have not lettered with it yet. It doesn't have my lettering seal of approval yet simply because I haven't lettered with it. But every other brush in this set, awesome. Love it. So now I need to get a pencil because I need to figure this out. We're going to have um, Oh, thank you, Laura. Yeah, thank you so much. That means the world to us. Okay. Now, we're going to go with our medium gold. If I can pull this off, y'all, I'm going to be so happy after the way this day has been. grab some of the lighter and let's go in here and let's do y'all would think so Tammy thank you yay I wanted it to look like sand and y'all this is not hard you know just not hard at all. All right, so we've got 2021 sinking in. Let's get some of our black and let's make sure we make that evident what we've got going here. Is Carrie here? Hey, Carrie. Okay, so it's sliding out. We got to do our, um, we've got to do our 2022 filling up. And it's going to be like. I can't believe it's 2022, y'all. Okay. Oh, so you're getting a set for Christmas. You're gonna love them. Oh, Debbie. Oh, that 
That would be. We might try it. We might just try it. We might just try that. I love that idea. Sparkly sand. Now I'm going to dip into a little brown. We're going to darken this up just a little bit. And we're going to, you know, make it really pop with the black, just like we did up above. Might even add a little white here. Oh, thanks, Bev. Were you here when I was talking about you earlier? <gasps> Look what I'm drinking out of. You might have started something with me, girlfriend. I love my mug so much, and I got to thinking how fun it would be to have a, um, have one from every state. And, uh, yeah, so Mr. Tater Buggin might have words with you. <laughs> Is Tanya here? Hey, there's Amanda from Amanda Made. Hey, my friend. Oh, do y'all see this? Look what just walked up. Is that a ladybug or is that one of those mean ones that bites? I never can tell the difference. And what are you doing here? It's cold outside. Just strolled right up here like she belonged here. Can you move? I don't want to hurt you and I don't want you to bite me. So let's just move along. Move along. After I'm live, after I'm done, I'll take you outside and you can go live your best life. But you don't need to here. Um, oh, thank you. Is it, do I pronounce it Frida or Fridia? I appreciate that so much. We, we just appreciate y'all's prayers. Oh, my goodness, we appreciate them. Now, let me grab, let's see what I can, shiny, shiny stuff. Um, how about a little, what, what if we get out this, um, extreme glitter paint that, that I used. Once it dries, you know, it's, it's clear. Yeah, I guess she did. She's just insistent on being a part of this live. So, thank you. You can move on over here, but watch the paint. Stay out, stay out of the paint. Okay. What's her name, y'all? She's going to go outside where she can go get some food and water. There we go. Come on, Miss Lady. I don't know if you're the good kind or the bad kind, so you get to... You get to go outside and leave it that way. Come on now. I got things to do. All right, y'all. <laughs> there. She didn't get in the paint. Looks like the bad kind. It didn't exactly look just exactly like a ladybug, so I think it probably was the bad kind that could have bit me, so she's, get out of my studio. <laughs> Go on now. I love the idea of the, the sparkles being added. What are you fussing about? Okay. And see, you can see it looks kind of gray, but that part dries clear. Um, and then you're just left with the pretty sparkle. Uh, and I didn't tell y'all what I was using. It's Folk Art Extreme Glitter in uh, Champagne. I think we've used that before. 
Yeah, was that a good reason, Judy? <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, she needed to. She didn't need to live here. So, how do y'all like it? Yeah, let's. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this year melting, aren't y'all? <laughs> you better do us right. So then you can either leave it, um, leave the background white, which you know I'm not opposed to. What I might even do, since I love this brush so much, Amanda, if you're still here, I'm using your Montmartre brushes. I finally opened them up yesterday. You know I've had them for a long time, and. I love them. They're shaped just like my favorite set that I found on Amazon. And I'm betting these are going to be perfect lettering brushes, too. So, thank you very much for that suggestion. To really make it pop more, you could even um, kind of go around the wood pieces lightly. Well, Dad may be home. Yeah, I guess Dad's home. Uh, Janice, I'll tell you, let me, that's a good question because a lot of people can't. And I thought I had made it really easy, but I guess I had not. If you go to the top, the very top of the Tater Buggin page, you're gonna see a picture of me with that big goofy grin and Gerald's half in it with me. Um, right underneath that, you're gonna see a link tree link. And click that and you're gonna have links to, there he is, Sola Wood Flowers. Um, Amazon, what all do I have in there? Anything that, you know, I really love. And on the Amazon link, that's exactly what you're going to find is all the things that, that Gerald and I have tried from Amazon that we absolutely love enough to say, oh, y'all, this is good. You know, he cooks with his salt and pepper shakers are on there. And uh, the new brushes are the Mont Marte brand. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe there are more paintbrushes in this set than the AIEX. I just found those, and I found that they worked so well with lettering. I had tried a gazillion different kinds of brushes for lettering for years, and those were my favorite. But if these are just the same, you know, which they seem to be, I'll be using these for lettering, too. See, that kind of, that, that makes it pop a little bit more, doesn't it? So let me pull that up to y'all. What do you think? I think it turned out kind of cute. And, you know, it might be fun to do, you know what? What if we, let's see. What if we, I'm not, you know, the, just the plain, white background isn't isn't doing a whole lot for me let's try let me do this real quick and let's do um i'm gonna grab some silver Gail, I did not know you were here. Thank you. All right, some silver. And how how do we do fireworks? You have to make the, I guess you got to make the sound effects as you paint them. All 
Oh, Christine, I, you know, I was thinking about your husband yesterday and uh, him being in the hospital for Christmas. I'm so sorry. Yes, Stacy, that's what I'm thinking. Confetti and fireworks in the background. It needed something. I'm so glad, Grace. I was hoping y'all would like it. It was touch and go for a little while today, y'all. I'll tell you. Waiting in that line at the grocery store, I thought, ooh, am I going to be able to pull this off? No practice, no nothing. But y'all are always so forgiving that I knew even if I just really blew it, you'd you'd still forgive me and maybe hang out, hang out with me. <laughs> Keep, stay with me. What would be another? Should I do gold? Sparkly gold ones too? I think that might be fun. So can y'all see my little fireworks? Let's see. Where's that? What is it called? King's gold? No, pure gold that I like so much. Let's do that. It usually shows up more. And let's get, ooh, let's, let's just get fancy. I'm gonna get another metallic. And I, oh, ooh, y'all, I have this I wanna try. I found this at Target. Flash Metallic. It's an acrylic paint. Look how it, do you see how it changes? I haven't even opened it yet. Let's, let's try this since we're just playing and it's fireworks and we'll still do some gold too, but I wanna see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful color. All right. Janice, stick with me and you can, I promise. It's, look how easy these fireworks are. You just go. But you have to make the noises <laughs> while you do it. <laughs> Look how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Tanya, iridescent. That's a fun one. Trisha, are you laughing at me? <laughs> what are you laughing at? My firework sounds that you gotta make sounds while you do them? Chris and Gerald have always teased me about how I can't make sounds. <laughs> I'm not good at it. You know, little boys and men, they can do all those guns and stuff. I can't even do an explosion. All right, let's get some gold in here too. Let's get, ooh, ooh, what if I try this worn penny? Let's try that. Yeah, that's what I thought, Trish. <laughs> she was over here um, this weekend and oh, I washed my hair today and I can't find my comb. I don't know where Trish put my comb. I text her, I'm like, do you know where you put my comb? I gotta find it. That's way more fun than just a plain white background, y'all. Don't you think? Let's do some little ones right in here. Isn't that paint so pretty? Oh my goodness. I love that. Do some little ones like they're far away. I'm sorry for Bo chewing the bone. I don't know why he decides to do that when I'm live. Now that's, y'all, that's pretty fun, isn't it? Oh, and Penny, I just love your new kitty cat. So precious. I'm trying to remember. I know what you named him.
what is it? And it was so funny. Your poor little dog, Garp, will never get to be the boss anymore. When your cat, new cat finally came out, <laughs> that was it for Garp. <laughs> he doesn't get to be the boss anymore. Okay, so let's tilt you back up to this. I don't need these anymore. And so I can fix you right there. Okay, so look. How fun is that? It ended up okay, don't you think? To kind of be uh, last minute and I've been out grocery shopping with my mom for three hours. <laughs> Did I overdo it on the fireworks? Oh, thank you. Um, I, To shine out more, what you can do is um, you can take gray. And do some, well, let's see if I can do it. Diane, you're, you, you, you're going to stretch me, aren't you? You make me. Hey, you know what? I think I still have, I think I might can show y'all just as an example. Um, did I put it back in here? Put it back in there. I have it right in here. It's the, the piece of, uh. Well, the piece that I'd showed how to do, um, I showed in my class how to do glass, but just take some gray and do some little, there he is. Hey. They, they want to see your face, I'm sure, because, I mean, who wouldn't want to see his face? So you can tell he's a little peaked today. Oh, it not was, now. Tell Cindy it wasn't bad. She's got to have that same test in January, and she's a little nervous now. It's it's not near as bad as it sounds, no. And he liked it better than having to... Uh, having to walk on that treadmill, yeah. So they're all so happy you got good results. Thank y'all. There, there he is. Tipping some eggnog in your honor, G. That was Penny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sweet Penny. So this is what we did today, y'all. And it, it was fun. And I don't know what we're going to do Thursday yet. But so far, I don't have any plans Thursday. So maybe I'll be a little more prepared. And uh, I don't know... Uh, I, I think y'all are pretty good with, you know, when I paint, y'all y'all don't mind sitting here watching me paint. Yeah. Oh, y'all are so sweet. You were painting them and you didn't make the sound. And Oh, <laughs> Laura. So, Bo was making the sound for me in the background, chewing his bone. It made it sound like my fireworks going off. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, thank y'all so much. Hey, Cherokee. Uh, thank you for the hearts. So, thank you, Michelle. We will. He had a very good report, Benita. Yes, everything's great. He's all done. They've ruled out everything heart-related. So, he's, he's all good. Um, so, I don't know if we're... I was going to ask y'all. I think everybody's kind of into winter decor DIYs, maybe. Um... Thanks, Kathy. I've got you a discount code. If it's from Belle Lily, it's um, in the uh, pinned in the comments. Uh, we're gonna go have Mexican tonight, Penny. I oh, Bev, I do. I love it so much. I had my morning coffee in it, and I'm having my afternoon coffee in it, and that was just so thoughtful of y'all. I appreciate it. But uh, you know, when I said. If y'all want to message me, I, I will PayPal you and if you want to go get one from your state and, and PayPal you the shipping and everything. I'm not saying, oh, everybody send me a mug. No, but um, I think I, it would be fun to have a mug from every state my sweet tater bugs are in because I'm all um, crazy about mugs. I have a little... A little issue, but that was really sweet, Bev, of you and Darla to do. Thank you. I was really surprised. So I got so many sweet. Um, yes, Marlene, size up. This one, you know, they've. I, I like them to fit loose. This is this is pretty pretty big here, but um, I like them loose, especially in the winter. 
and uh, there's Moidal. Yes, I have a problem. Julie knows. And Mr. Tater Buggins like, don't bring another mug in this house. And I always do. It's, it's Oklahoma. I noticed this morning, I was looking at it, there's a little tornado. All things Oklahoma are on it. And it's just like the one that my friend Joyce got me from Pike Place in Seattle, which was the very first Starbucks, but it's got all the little drawings that go along with um, that area. So it's just really cool that they're all different. It all has to, I don't even have one from Memphis. Is there a Memphis one or a Tennessee one? I think I saw a Nashville one when I was in Nashville. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look online anyway. Y'all all have a Merry Christmas. If I don't see you again, I will be live Thursday. Uh, but I know everybody's really busy. Um, and then Sunday, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see. And, um then the big blowout party is january 2nd i'll still be going i'll still be doing my regular lives yes amanda heidi was saying that too um that uh, i could just display them here in my studio which would that that's brilliant that'd be so much fun or like you said hanging on a pegboard how cool would that be oh um if if you need my address, we've got our P.O. box on our page, but, you know, message me. I'll, you know, I don't, I'll do that. But I'm not asking y'all, I'm not asking y'all, I probably shouldn't have said anything, should I? Oh, Thursday's Christmas Eve, Eve, oh, Eve, Eve. I was about to say, wait, that's not Christmas Eve. I can't do it that day. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be fun, Michelle. And the name of the brushes. Montmartre. You'll see these, Dolly, when you go to my Amazon link, you'll see these brushes, and you'll see the AIEX brushes, because they're both in our favorites on there. Um, Montmartre is just the brand, but they're, I swear, they're so similar, if not identical, to the um, AIEX brand that I just love for lettering. How do you choose which ones to toss? You don't, right? That's right. You're looking all handsome in your plaid. What? You're looking all handsome in your plaid. <laughs> all right, y'all. I hope you're enjoying your holidays, and um, thanks for, for giving me an hour or so of your time today. I started late, so I'm just now going over an hour, but um, I sure had a ball hanging out with you, and... Um, did I like them as well? I love them. I just, I just got them out for the first time yesterday, and I absolutely love them. I have not lettered with them yet, so I can't, I'll do that. Maybe tomorrow I'll sit down and do some lettering with them so I can let you know for sure, but for painting, any kind of detail, they're great. Love y'all so much. Um, I will see you Thursday unless something happens, which we're not even going to think that way, okay? because <laughs> a lot has happened lately and um y'all just y'all just enjoy your holidays i'll see you soon love you bye